in this video we will learn ad hoc EIA method but before that we will recap our earlier video number 100 where we have discussed about the basic of environmental impact assessment there are six steps of EIA process screening whether EIA is required scoping what should be included in an EIA report three three step number three is preparation of draft EIA report four is public consultation five preparation of final EIA report and six is appraisal but the most important part of preparation of EIA report is impact analysis and mitigation measures but before going to discuss about the impact analysis we will discuss basic EIA principle out of 14 basic principle mentioned in my last video number earlier video number 100 the most important nine are discussed here in in practical applications with, with practical applications is purposive EIA should meet its aim of informing decision makers and ensuring an appropriate level of environmental protection and human health. Focused EIA should concentrate on significant environmental effects taking into account the issues that matter. The process that is EIA should be adjusted to the realities, issues and circumstances to the proposal under review. Participative EIA should provide appropriate opportunities to inform and involve the interested and affected public and their inputs and concerns should be addressed explicitly. Transparent EIA should be clear, easily understood and open process with early notification procedure, access to documentation and a public record of decisions taken and reasons for them. Rigorous apply the best practical build met methodologies to address the impacts and issues being investigated practical identify the measures for impact mitigation that work and can be implemented credible EIA should be carried out with profit professionalism rigor fearless objectivity impartiality and balance and last is efficient, EIA should impose the minimum cost burden to the proponents consistent with meeting process requirements and objective. Within, uh, for, uh, within this uh, nine principles, rigorous and practical is are on impact assessment and on mitigation measures. So impact analysis is the part of EIA and is done to identify likely environmental and social impacts of a proposed project and evaluates their significance and establish measures to prevent, reduce and compensate for the impacts. There are five steps of impact analysis. Identification of potential impacts using several methods such as the checklist method, ad hoc method and matrix method. Description of existing environment involves the collection of all pertinent environmental data relating to the project site for all the seasons. Procurement of relevant bylaws involves assemblage of relevant standard regulation and bylaws to know the permissible level, level of uh, and the quantity of impact. Prediction of impacts refers to the scientific characterization of impacts, causes and effects and their secondary synergetic consequence for the environment and local community. Prediction is done by the matrix method, network method, checklist method, literature review and expert judgment. And the last one is assessment of significant impacts. These steps evaluate the predicted adverse impact to determine whether there are significant enough to warrant mitigation. This is done by a combination of methodologies like 
expert consultation, mathematical modeling, comparison with bylaws, etc. Now we come to the EIA methodologies. Some important methodologies available for assessing the impacts of development activities on environment are ad hoc method, checklist method, matrix method, network method, overlay method, factor analysis, cost benefit analysis, simulation model uh, method and the list of this method is neither complete nor final. Now in this video we will discuss about the ad hoc method. Ad hoc method is the oldest to EIA. This method generally used in screening process that is preliminary assessment and the method indicates broad areas of possible impacts by listing composite environmental parameters likely to be affected by any development. Each parameter is considered separately. It is subjected, subjective. Experts rely on intuitive approach and give their opinion based on their experience. There is no systematic step-by-step -step process in this method. The ad hoc method provides a broad-based qualitative assessment. Now, the, what is the approach? for ad hoc method. Constitute a multidisciplinary team of experts to identify broad areas of possible impacts in their respective expertise area like air environment, water environment, noise environment, soil environment and biodiversity. Then listing composite environmental parameters likely to be affected by any development, identify impacts by the team of experts in their area of expertise, nature of impacts due to particular project or activities on, on the each environmental area are considered, discussed and classified as no effect, positive, negative or both, beneficial, adverse or problematic reversible, irreversible, and short term or long term. Now this is an example of ad hoc method. Here broad environmental and uh, broad environmental impacts, environmental area is here and this is the nature of impacts in terms of positive, negative, adverse. So the broad area in broad environmental area so you if we just put a tick mark that which is applicable so in case of air quality tick mark is a negative effect and it is advert effect in the long term so accordingly you have to tick mark against the each environmental impact and this is the qualitative approach now there are three types of ad hoc method, expert opinion, opinion poll and Delphi method. What we have discussed earlier is all on expert method. In this method, this method involves seeking opinion of the recognized experts in relevant fields on the impact of proposed projects generally by asking questions. Opinions may be short from the individuals face to face or by holding meetings or workshop with experts for developing the alternatives based on relative impacts. The advantage of this method is that the study could be completed in a shorter period. Experts provide their decision as opinion without going into detailed scientific investigation of environmental impacts of the projects. but based on pragmatism and improvisation of the impacts. So it is subjective judgment since the different recognized experts may hold different opinion because the nature of impact is examined merely on guess basis. And the second is opinion poll. Here this method involves seeking opinion of the general public including stakeholders 
on the impact of the proposed projects generally by asking questions and opinions may be shot from the individuals mainly through survey people give their opinion based on their own intuitions depending upon their experience acquired throughout their lives so it is uh, obviously a subjective judgment and since the viewpoints are merely guess uh, uh, merely on guess basis and the third option is delphi method and it is the combination of both expert opinion and opinion poll in this method survey is conducted in two or more rounds from the second round onward a feedback is given about the opinions of the previous round and the same expert assess the same matter once again and influenced by the opinions of the uh, other experts or public for example expert opinion is discussed with public and public may raise different opinion then the feedback of the public is shared with the experts and finally expert takes the public opinion uh, into account before making their uh, revision of the of, of, of the previous judgment or decision no now is alternative approach in case of mining of minerals alternatives of location are not possible as it is site specific but in other projects or activities for example construction of dam or reservoirs alternatives are possible so uh, in, in an example consider four alternative sites available for a project and determine the environmental impacts of these using a ad hoc method so the nature of impact of composite environmental parameters like air quality water quality soil erosion wood growth fish culture displacement of number of people etc are assessed by the expert and ranked by putting numbers considering the magnitude extent and duration and ranking may be given 1 2 3 3 like that against base to worse or vice versa and based on the total count total score of ranking system the most suitable and impactful alternative could be identified and this will be the one of the example of the table of ranking system here broad areas are the parameters are given and there are four alternatives here so we just give score uh, based on the uh, severity or the insignificant effect of environment and the final score will be counted so this is a example of ad hoc method here the area a broad area is uh, submerged area then irrigation potential in hectare power generation soil erosion all are given and the values is given in for all alternative sites in case of serial number 1 2 3 and 5 there is a quantitative assessment but for 4 6 8 and 7 is all the qualitative assessment so if i consider this qualitative assessment here and rank in descending order from insignificant to severe environmental impacts that means insignificant insignificant impacts will get more points and the uh, severe is getting the less point and if you consider this soil erosion here so this is severe i give one out of four and this is insignificant so it is it gets four so accordingly i put values against each alternatives and it is found that alternative d is scored 23 and one or a has scored seven so this is the best alternative here so although the alternative d has the less potential in terms of uh, power generation uh, in comparison with the other but it is the best suitable alternatives with respect to 
environmental impacts. Now we discuss some pros of this ad hoc method. Ad hoc method is very simple and easy to use. It can be performed without training. Just uh, inform expert about the project and take their opinion and have it right. And it merely present uh, the pertinent information of the project's effect on the environment without any sort of relative weighting or any cause-effect relation or complex calculation except ranking for alternative approaches and it provides minimal guidance for impact analysis while suggesting broad areas of possible impacts. It does not even state the actual uh, impact on specific parameters that will be affected. So simply obtain some values, compare it with other standards and render a decision. But the cons part is, so it may not encompass all the uh, relevant impacts. The criteria used to evaluate impacts are not comparable. The relative weights of various impacts cannot be compared. Environmental impact assessment usually requires the collection and analysis of considerable information about the economic, social, and biophysical environment. So, ADAC method fails to do this in any meaningful way. It is subjective in nature. Opinion or decision may vary from expert to expert. So, this method lacks precision or consistency in, in, in analysis. It is insufficient as it requires sizable effort to identify assemblage and appropriate panel of experts for each assessment and as the expert judgment is assessing the primary impacts is done in an ad hoc manner it cannot be replicated making it to review or analysis the conclusion in eia so overall it is not recommended as a method of EIA impact analysis and uh, it is not necessary that every method is applicable for all situations. So this is the reference part. You can read this for further information. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.